Excellent. Yes. Okay. You don't want to watch the V? I'm showing you how I'm playing the game. Share screen. Just time. Sure. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a basic run through on how to play this game that I created. All right. And we're going to start from the beginning of the game and then do a run through of the game so that it's uh, it's easiest to play. All right. So let's uh, let's try. Uh, for starters, click up here. Every game has to have a uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, a, uh, a theme song. Right. So I came up with a theme song. I found one. Are you tired of being full price for more than Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Check this out. It's calling down in houses. So could something like this happen to you? Dave Rowe knows all too well. Because I heard the first. I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And then I started to smell. So it's like the smell. I said, I ran up fast. I had to run. I had to get up the stairs. So he had so much rhythm. When he was walking upstairs, he said, doom, doom, doom. Bitch, I started to almost beatbox up in the closet. I was a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom. He had so much rhythm. He had so much rhythm. He had so much rhythm. Because I heard him first. I said, hello. That's my theme song. Oh, I broke it. Now, uh, what I want you to do at the end of the game, you're going to uh, ask to uh, insert a um, a picture of your score in the quote unquote game that you're going to play. Uh, this is how you get your grade. Now, in the event that you're just playing the game, you can skip this part. Now on with the show. All right, this is the periodic table. It's a uh, Mr. Ricardo attempt at creating a digital board game, copyright 2020. Now click next for the original rules that do not apply to a digital format of the game, but if you're slick enough, uh, do however uh, have, do however necessary information on how to uh, cheat to win easier and faster. So what I want you to, or you could also skip ahead to uh, Ricardo's rules of winning without cheating. All right, so we're gonna go to the next. All right, you can read this. Uh, this is, uh, your group will receive a set of cards with information that describes a particular atom. Your job is to figure out which atom the card describes and to place it in the area in your classroom for that atom. Uh, you will use the periodic table, elements 1 through 20, chart to help you determine what your atom, your card describes, what atom your card describes. The diagram and information below will help you match your cards to the correct atoms. All right, so this is an example of what uh, the periodic table looks like. Um, at the top, you got the element name. It's usually Greek for something that contains the element. Um, the atomic number, which is the number of protons in the nucleus of the atom. The symbol is a shorthand abbreviation for the element name. And the atomic mass is the average mass of the atoms in an element. Moving on. Uh, parts of the atom. Positively charged particle in the nucleus of the atom is the proton. The number of protons in the atom's nucleus is the atomic number. The electron. 
Negatively charged particles surrounding the nucleus of the atom, the number of electrons surrounding the nucleus of an atom is equal to the number of protons in the atom's nucleus. And neutron, particle in the nucleus that has about the same mass as a proton but has no charge. For the first 20 elements, uh, for atoms of the first 20 elements, the number of neutrons is either or equal to or slightly greater than the number of protons. All right, now placing your cards. Once you know what the information in each box on your periodic table stands for, and you know the parts of the atom, you will be able to correctly place most of your cards with the atoms they describe. You will need to know the following information, additional information in order to answer any questions having to do with neutrons. To match the number of neutrons listed on your card to the correct element, look for, the, look for an element on the periodic table so that if you add the number of neutrons on the cards to the protons of the element, you will get, the close, you will get close to the atomic mass for the element. For example, you may have a card that says the atom you're looking for has five neutrons. Look at the periodic table to find an atom that you could add five uh, to its number of protons that would give you a sum close to the atomic number atomic mass given for hold on a sec, that element. <coughs> the answer beryllium Be, which has four protons and an atomic mass of 9.01. Now, this is your game board. All right, you'll notice it is hydrogen and one. It goes to three to 10, 11 to 18, 19 and 20, okay? number of protons, electrons, and neutrons, all right? Remember that the number of uh, neutrons is not the same for every atom of an element. The number of neutrons you write in this chart will be a number that when added to the number of protons gives a sum as close as possible to the atomic mass, all right? Now, this is Ricardo's rules of winning. The game that I just told you about is a paper, uh, paper card-based game. The way we're going to play it is digitally, so it's a little different. Fill out the game board with the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for each of the first 20 elements of the periodic table of elements. That's the goal. Note, if you know how uh, atoms work, you can accomplish this goal without even uh, really playing the game. Reread the original rules, slides three and four. I'm not going to go back to it because it shows you how to cheat to win. We don't do that. All right, before you start, print out a game board. Uh, slide number six, it's the easiest way. Uh, oh, you don't have a printer? Oh, sorry about that. Get a piece of paper, number one to 20, and fold it into a vertical force so that you have four distinct lines at the top of the paper, write element, uh, number of protons, number of electrons, and number of neutrons. Use the uh, periodic table chart provided in to write out the names of the elements in the first column, which is slide six. Now you have a game board. Yay. However, you click here. Hopefully this works and you get to see this. I've created a empty chart where you can do just that. And all you have to do is write out the elements as you get them. Okay. Hopefully that works. Going to the next slide. Yeah. Wait a minute. Go back. Go back. Go back. I missed this line. All right. Now pick a game you want to play. Versions A through J are 20 card versions, and version X has 200 cards in it because there was originally 200 cards in the deck. Pull a card from the bottom deck and determine which element it is talking about. Example. This atom has six protons in the chart. The number of protons equals the number, atomic number of the element in question. What is the element? Now you have the number of protons in, for that element. Discard the card in the top pile. Once you have run out of all the cards, you have figured, you have figured, ah, you should have figured out a way to win the game or That's funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Okay. Yeah. 
what happened? I did something. I don't know what happened. I screwed it all up. Oh, well, we'll keep going. All right, let's see. Stop sharing. Uh, share again with the sound and the video. And boom. All right, cool. This is going to be a wonderful uh, uh, demonstration of, of the directions, but I'll, I'll just delete this all afterwards and do a brand new one. Maybe I'll have this as an outtakes. Blooper's real. Yay. Okay. So there's more. Uh, how do you win the game? Now, remember, you can go back and get the theme music if you want to. Um, but how do you win the game? Uh, how do you get graded, so to speak? After you have played the game and figure out how to determine the number of protons, the electrons, and neutrons for any element on the periodic table, you are able to play a little quiz to determine your mastery of the skill. Click on the link provided. This is the link. You're going to go to this URL, this URL right here. Change the parameters of the games to the following settings. The next slide has a visual of it. Um, five, uh, five questions, unclick uh, nucleons. Uh, set to rounding and play the game as best you can. You're going to then take a screenshot of your score. Um, so let me show you. You go to it. All right. You're going to click. Hold on. I got to make this more visual so you can see it. You're going to click five questions, no nucleons, and hit yes. All right. So again, I want to go back to the game. All right. This is the next slide. You see how it says click five here, nucleons there, and click yes there. That's how you can get it going. Um, insert the screenshot of your score on the, uh, and post it on slide number one. This is slide number one. This is where you would post it, all right? And now we're going to go to this one, all right? Um, and that's it. Uh, please play the game to the best of your ability, and you can go from there. Now I'm going to make this sh slightly shorter so that... Everybody can see it, obviously. All right, cool. Um, I want you to play the game as best that you can. You go to slide 14, and this is how you do it. You pick up, uh, again, you can turn on the music. Uh, you pick up the, um, whichever slide you want to do. If you want to do all of them, you can do all of them. If you want to do um, uh, a shorter version of the game, you can do a shorter version of the game. Uh, whichever one you want, doesn't really matter. Because uh, once you figure out how to beat the game, it's kind of simple, right? So let's uh, let's pick one. We're going to go to it. And we'll play it for like a quick second. And I'll explain to you how easy it is. Right. One sec. This one? Yeah. Okay, so um, this is the game piece, the game board, again. Uh, so electrons surrounding it, its nucleus is 12. So for magnesium, you would put 12 right there. All right. And the atom you're looking for has this electronic level model. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That one also happens to be magnesium, all right? Uh, the atom you're looking for has two electrons and on the first, second, and the second one has uh, eight electrons, and the third one has three electrons. So again, that's magnesium, all right? The one you're looking for has eight more electrons than beryllium. I think I put these all 
in random I thought I put them all in random order but I didn't I put them in in actual order oh this sucks now this is hilarious now I gotta do this entire video over fantastic all right hold on a sec and I have to redo the project hold on a sec I gotta redo it all right so let's take a look all of these first of all Don't play this game. Don't play this version. Play one down here. Let's see if the one of these are, are, are set to go. I'm I'm literally about to play set this game up for for uh, for uh, one period from now, and, and and it's not even ready. Wonderful, just wonderful. This is this is this is COVID teaching. Good job, Ricardo. All right. So let's try this one again. I'm on 17. So let's go to 17. Uh, 17. All right. The atom you're looking for has 12 electrons around its uh, uh, nucleus. That's magnesium. Uh, you're looking for one, two. That's magnesium. That's magnesium. Are you kidding me? They're all mag. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now I understand. You have to take it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You have to take the game out of presentation mode to move a card. There you go. Hold on a sec. Take it out of presentation mode. Okay, all right. Now I have to change the rules. The example of discard. Uh, part one, take uh, the uh, Google slide, slide out of presentation mode, mode, in order to move the cards without changing the slide uh, to the next slide. There you go. Now, all right, now I'm not insane. I'm, I'm, I goofed, but I didn't goof that bad. All right, that's not that bad. All right, we can do that. That, that we can do. That, that's okay. I'm not crazy. Okay. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All right. So that's it. Um, uh, it, the game won't work unless you take it out of presentation mode and I'm a dummy. That's funny. Uh, remember once you are done playing the game and you figured out all the protons, neutrons and electrons, it's really easy to figure it out. Um, in case you get stressed out, here's a kitten that ran out of printer ink. Um, again, you're going to go to this website and you're going to take this quiz. It's a five question quiz. Um, and you are, I can't take the quiz for you because if I do, it's, it's going to show you exactly how to win. And I can't, I can't do that because that's a bad thing. Um, but uh, whatever your score is, screenshot it and then put it as the first page screenshot it and drag it over um, kind of like this, right? And you just drag it over and put it in there and that's how I know that you play the game and you're ready to go, all right? So this was my, my attempt at giving a, a set of directions so I don't have to do this like 10,000 times um, and that anybody ever wants to play it, they can do it. I'm obviously gonna have to create a new set of directions because this is ridiculous. But hey, this is that this is what it is. School starts in like 20 minutes. Now I got to upload this to YouTube or it's not going to work. So, have fun. Bye.